Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org, coming to you this Thursday morning, September 14th. And we're looking at Window Traders' market profile of the ESNENQ. So, after shrugging off CPI yesterday morning, when they pushed down, only to basically push up all morning, give it up late in the day, take out the shorts in M period, we're back to doing the same thing. Nothing's changed, right? This could be a replay of yesterday morning's video. Uh, the only difference is it's a six day balance instead of a five coming into today okay that's number one number two um we have x dividend tonight for spy that's going to be about buck 60 or so so going forward starting tomorrow the profiles of es and spy are definitely going to be a little distorted for a while and then we have options expiration also um tomorrow so again just like yesterday yeah, we might gap higher, but if we gap higher and can't take out the daily balance high, which is weak, by the way, in ES, nothing's changed, right? There's two things to focus on, the six-day balance high and the inside weeks high, the six-day balance low, the inside week low. Those are your two main things to focus on. Unless you get those, that, well, first we have to come out of the daily, especially to the upside. The downside, the daily balance low is the same as the inside week low. So those two are um, right together. But until we do one of these things, you're going to get what we've got in the last two days. Look at, look at this. This is today's on Tuesday. Push down, gave it up, and then buyers give it up. Yesterday, push down, gave it up, push up, spent all Late at a morning, early afternoon here, can't get anything, boom, give it up, and then those shorts get taken out. It's going to be the same process that you're going to see. So, again, the main thing, the key, is to respect how much short-term traders can move the market on those type moves. Yes, I still, you know, MGI is very, very important, but at times they will blow through some of those visuals, uh, uh, levels that MGI are providing for us, Okay. Again, to give you a game plan this morning, uh, since C, uh, PPI is coming out in 10 minutes, it's, it's not worth it. If we look, if after PPI we gap above the six day balance, right, then there's two things you could lean on. Number one would be the top of the balance, and number two would be the gap fill from today. If you take both of those at, back, then there's good odds that instead of monitoring for continuation, we're getting lack of. If you hold at least one of them, well, then the market should have higher value and migrate higher, and then we'll see if we can come out of the inside week to the upside. Okay? Any acceptance back inside of yesterday's range, okay, there's nothing to lean on from yesterday. Right? We had a 10 wide. Well, I shouldn't say that. We were 10 wide. You would definitely migrate back down to your 10 wide pock if we get acceptance back inside of value. Remember, when we were pushing lower, even if we had made new lows, the point of control could not be lowered. It was 10 wide as low as it can go. That was a little nuance there. Now this morning, instead of being an upside destination, at least for now, it's a downside destination. Um, NQ right now, trading right at yesterday's high, okay? And righty, inside of yesterday's range. Righty, remember, had a nine wide pocket and afternoon rally high. And then um, on the chart, so here's the weekly, right? Inside week, three days into this week, inside week, the water's boiling, the envelope's being stretched, you, the rubber, you, know, uh, uh, the, you know, you're pushing the envelope, the rubber band's being stretched, whatever you want to use. Hopefully, hopefully at some point, we're going to blow out of this balance either to the upside or downside. Will it be prior to the Fed? I, I was hoping yesterday would be a day we would at least start going, and that didn't happen. So it all remains to be seen. So pure balance there on the weekly and the daily. Good luck trading today. Thanks for the likes and subscribing, and we'll recap at 4 p.m.